Also on the growing staff of distinguished individuals is Emmett J. Scott, a former journalist. He carries the title of private secretary to the man he calls the wizard. Scott serves Washington with devotion and a measure of ruthlessness, powering the sophisticated political and public relations operation that Du Bois will come to term the infernal Tuskegee machine. It's gonna be a proud day for every Negro in the land, sir. Everything has been carefully planned down to the last flower on the floats. I'm sending the schedule to the White House this afternoon. President McKinley wants some ideas for his speech. You write that he should say something to encourage colored people to get education, property, to build their character. Those things are the basis of good citizenship. And he should put in something about both races being moderate, friendly, self-controlled. Put it in your own words. I'll sign it. I'll see to it immediately, sir. That um, editorial in Tuesday's Chicago Conservative was very unfair. It completely misrepresented your opinions. The press is your department, Mr. Scott. Just be as tactful as possible. You can depend on that, sir. The president came, and it was indeed a grand and glorious day. A relationship to seal. Washington's career as a formidable political power broker begins.